This everlasting gospel is being preached to those who dwell on the earth, to every nation, to every tribe, to every tongue, and every people. Verse 7, saying with a loud voice, this angel is saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to Him, for the hour of His judgment has come, and worship Him who made heaven and earth the sea and springs of water. The very first thing the angel is declaring, fear God. Why fear God? Because he is saying, when you go through hardships in your life, remember, remain faithful and fear God. Don't ever go against him and say, why are you doing this to me, God? Don't say that, yet we do it, yet we say it. Because when the weight is too much, when the struggle is becoming overwhelming, we blame the most powerful being who is God. So we say, you've let me down, you've forgotten me, you've walked away from me. The angel is reminding every faithful Christian, no matter how hard and difficult your situation, fear God. What is fear God? Love Him. Fearing the Lord, the word fear here means love. Not in a way that you are afraid that if you make a mistake, He'll chop your head off. No. Fear the Lord, meaning love Him so much that you will start fearing saying things or doing things that might break His heart. I am afraid of breaking your heart, not afraid of you. My fear is, I don't want to hurt you, my Lord, because your heart is so holy, your heart is so sacred, your heart is so loving and tender. I am afraid that I, with my ignorance, I may break this beautiful, loving heart. Lord, remind me to fear you always, meaning I don't want to break your beautiful heart ever. I don't want to break it. Fear God and give glory to Him. Meaning, be, be humble. The only time I, you and I, I and you, can give glory to God when we become humble down to earth. Don't ever snatch the glory from the hands of the Lord. Don't ever take it away from Him. As a church leader, you'll come and listen. People come to me and say, Bishop, there is, you're so famous on TikTok. You've, you've passed Billy Graham. <laughs> Today, actually, I was told... <laughs> Somebody went for a job interview. The interviewer asked that person who applied for the job, what is your background? Um, they looked at the name, they thought they were Maltese, with all love and respect to Maltese, because the name was Borg. Now, Borg is like Smith in English. It's extremely famous uh, in, in our beautiful Maltese community. Mr. Borg. So they thought it, it, that person was Maltese. They said, no, um, I am Assyrian, married to a Maltese guy. So they said, oh, Assyrian, do you know Mari Mari? <laughs> Mispronunciation. Do you know Mari Mari? That person said, Mari Mari? Who is Mari Mari? He said, yeah, that, that bishop that talks, oh, I love that guy. He said, oh, you mean Marmari? I said, yeah, yeah, exactly that one. Well, he said, that is related to me, Marmari. Oh, really? Like, imagine, even in a job interview, they're talking about Mari Mari. <laughs> so you may become famous. People talk about you, may say wonderful things about you. And, but, remember, this bishop 
I'll say it. I am not worthy to be the Lord's donkey because without him, I am nothing. I am nothing. It is him. All glory to his holy name. It is he who rides this donkey wherever he pleases. It is he who comes to his beloved children to reach out to them and say to them, I am here. Do not be afraid. Whatever is happening out there in the world, your Jesus is much bigger what happens in the world. You see, the world is gaining its power from Satan. Their God is Satan. But remember my child, their God is under the foot of your God. Remember. What are you afraid? Step on what is happening in the world. And fear no one, fear nothing, for the Lord is always here with you. So the glory needs to go to Christ because I am a nothing and this is the truth. It is not a statement I am making or declaring. I am just stating what the truth is for I am a nothing. Jesus Christ is everything.